Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and uh, welcome back to another movie review, and uh, now back to the Land Before Time films. And now, uh, now um, I'm on movie um, number four. And now introducing the uh, Land Before Time, Journey Through the Mists. Um, really made in uh, 19, released in uh, another, um, what, another directed video film, which I said, said before, the first one was the only film that got released in theaters since the, the since the number th um, number two, and then on went to be directed videos. So, so it was released directed video in 1996. Roy Allen Smith returns as a directing since he directed two, three, and now this film. Um, and as also the film marks as the the last um the last time any of the original cast any of the original cast of voices in here. Well, except for Ken uh, Kenneth Mars, who voiced uh, Grandpa Lana, he's still voicing in all, in all of them still. But any of the the original um, the original cast members, you know, like uh, Scott Mc McPhee as Littlefoot, uh, Candace Houston as Sarah, um, I know, but I think it also that did Jeff Jeff Ben Jeff Bennett uh, Bennett still voices Petrie still in, in the other shows, I think. Um, but still. Um, so and um and the, on 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 IMDb that has a a 5.6 on IMDb and on Rotten Tomatoes on the on the tomato meter you know on Rotten Tomatoes you know it gives it a score though but it, it hasn't gotten a score but uh, um what what the audience on Rotten Tomatoes of getting a, a rating you know has a 44 percent the audience gave the game the film a 44 percent so I would disagree on that though or in both. Ron, the audience on Rotten Tomatoes or on IMDb could be higher, you know. Um, and this and is an, another film, another uh, entrance to the series that I do enjoy, you know. Um, so following on in the in the, in the story on, on uh, number four, Journey Through the Mists, it opens up you know, with Little Foot, you know, um, uh, in the Great Valley. Little Foot and his friends, you know. Um, little Footy notices, like off in the distance, like in the distance, there's a uh, another group of uh, long ne long necks coming to the Great Valley, and they're there. They said they say like they're the the long necks are their cousins, I think. You know, another more rel uh, herd of relatives. You know, they're gonna stay. They're staying there for like um, temporarily because the the land they used to they used to live. You know has been changed, you know, there's like a lot of rainfalls and it's turned into this big uh, wetland, which is called, you know, the mists. So, and since then, since since it also since then, a lot of dangerous creatures have been living in there, you know, so that's why they had to move. Um, and when, um, when, um, when Little Foot, uh, uh, was going to go out to play with his friends, he, uh, he meets another, uh, she meets another, um, um, Long, uh, long neck by the name of Ali, right there, which he uh, meets, you know, which is also, um, the, Ali is also makes an appearance in another one of the episodes of the series. And, and she wants, uh, she, uh, wants, um, uh, um, Lilitha wants her to go meet and play with his friends, but, uh, she's, like, feeling, like, kind of, um, she says she's afraid because she's never played with other species, you know. So that's so she doesn't want to. She she doesn't want to. And and as soon as she gets a, a Sarah, you know, of course she she gets, she gets mad over that, you know, and you know, saying who needs her, you know. And then, but then, but then, but then later, and then later on, you know, um, Littlefoot's uh, grandfather, Grandpa Longneck, he suddenly falls ill, you know. From an unknown, unknown illness, you know, this. But the the old one, the leader of the other uh, long neck group, says that it's an illness that no other dinosaur can recover from. But there's only one, but there's only one cure for it, and it's the the golden fl it's golden flower, which is called they call it the the knife flower, and which it only exists were in the the land where they came from, which is in the mists, and that's the only way to save Grandpa Longneck. And Littlefoot, he wants, he, he, of course, you know, he wants to go and save his grandfather, you know, and he, so he, he, want, he wanted to take his friends 
Virgil won't take his friends, but Allie goes with him instead because she because he th he thinks that she that she know knew the way because where she came from, you know. So it's only her, um, him and her going, and there they they go the way where there's a cave where there's where the waterfall it shows a rainbow, you know. And they enter as they enter there. Then there's this big earthquake or earth shake as they call it, earth shake. Um, they they, they start running off, but um, <clears throat> there's this, there a, a rock barricade blocks blocks them, you know. Um, Littlefoot is trapped inside, and while um, Allie's on the other side, so she runs up and gets um, the others. And while Littlefoot is stuck in, is stuck in the cave, he meets um, um, which is um. An older, an older, uh, big old, older turtle, which is called an archaline, which is, which is a very large turtle, which millions of years ago, which it was, which is still, which is still similar to the turtles today, you know, the archaline, but his name is Archie. So, he he uh, Lilva meets him and tries to help him clear some of the barrack, the rock, the rock slide off, you know. And then, well, but but they're but they're also not alone in the cave because there's, yeah, the villains in here. And this and this um, film is a bird, which I think is called they call it a sharp beak, but it's, it's never said though. But a bird by the name of Icky, and a, a dinosuchus, which is which was related to which is a prehistoric crocodile, related to the crocodiles today. But uh, but also in the series they call the belly uh, belly draggers. But the the, the dinosaur's name is um, Dill, which I th which a long time ago I saw it when I watched this. You know, I thought Dill was a male, but it turns out uh, Dill's really a female. You know, just wanted to say that though, because a long time ago, watching this, I always thought she was she was a male, but she's really female. I just want to say that though. But Dill and Icky, you know, they they're looking they're looking they're hungry they're looking for some they're looking for something to eat until Icky see spots the little foot and the the an arc uh, Ar Archie, and uh, they also get one of the sing another one of the sing along songs, which I thought I've uh, um, throughout the whole um, Land Four Time series. This is this is what the song is one of, one of my personal favorites, you know, where they're singing you know, like the song "Who Needs You," you know, like um, like with like I I was it I need you oh I need you like a pain in the gut, and I need you like a kick in the butt, you know. And who needs you? Not me, not me, not me, not me, not me. Yeah, the, the, uh, that's one of my favorite songs throughout the whole series. You know, that's one of them, though. And I always, I always like that. Always one of my favorite um, uh, villain villain characters in the series. You know, so I I, I like the characters of Dylan and Nikki. So they so they go on to uh, um start chasing um. Littlefoot and Archie, where they're trying to still kind of clear the barricade, you know, chasing them in the cave. And meanwhile, Allie goes back to the Great Valley to tell Sarah and the others, you know, but Sarah doesn't want to go because you know, it's just because she didn't how she was when they first met. That angers her, you know, and she goes and stays behind while the others go with her. Um, so they rather they're trying to clear out some of the, other, uh, the boulders on the other side. But but uh, but until then, then Sarah shows up and gives more power and just um, push charging and pushing the rest of the rocks off the side, you know. So and then they then they reach then. So then they really reach the other, the, other, the the entrance to into the mist where they say goodbye to Archie. And as as they enter in the mists, you know, um, there has been a lot of sort of lots of strange noise and scary creatures like um. There's a, there was a, there was like there was even a, even a pack of uh, Struthiomimuses, you know, like uh, the two villains of um, Straw and Ozzy were in the in the number two, the Great Valley Adventure. There's 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 there was there was a there you see a whole pack a whole pack of those uh, of those uh, species running through there. Um, then there there's some there's some lightning and they see like a bunch of little, um, mice as as I, as I call them you know mice in the trees one falls. And they get scared, and that's the one that that's one uh, one that comes along with them. They call him uh, Tickles, because he's ticklish. So the, he he comes along with them, and as they as they start wandering through, they they they, they um 
they get they're still getting chased by um um Dill and Icky, you know. Um like in one instance where um Sarah falls into the river where they try to throw a vine to to pull her in, but Icky uh snaps it. Then uh, Ally goes down and rescues her while while the others distract them with bunch of throwing a bunch of rocks at them. Um and that was also a thing, you know, because, um, like, um, like, Icky, he's the eyes, cut eyes for Dill, because Dill can't see very well. He's like, wait, 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 did you, you hit me? I did not, but it's not a bad idea, you know. Um, so, but then, and then later, they, they finally, the, as they, they stop the ticker, they stop at a rest point, assuming that they're almost there, which really they are. Well, as, as they start to snooze for a bit, then the moonlight showing that all the the flowers begin to blossom. Very pretty golden flowers, you know. You know these. So they grab enough as they need, and once again they get chased by um, Dill and Icky. And as they come across a, a um, they run across on one of the a log bridge, I would say. You know, one of the flowers fall off. Ducky tries to grab grabs back and gets it, but then she falls. Into the river and Dill pops her up and he's like, she, I, she's she's on my on my nose and she's mine. She he, so she throws her up, you know. And as the others are all yelling, ducky, ducky. Then for the first time, uh, Spike he speaks for the first time, you know. He yells out, ducky, you know. And everyone's all shocked, all shocked to hear that that, that Spike spoke, you know. And then, but then Ducky grabs onto a tree branch and and um. Petrie pulls her out of there, you know, and then they all, then they all, the rest of all run away, and then Dill, like, he get into another fight, and I've, I've had it with you, you know, and I'm going alone, and, um, Dill hits, um, Icky with his, with, with her tail, and he goes flying, yeah, you know, but then he, then, then Dill runs into, uh, uh, like a, like, um, it's it's a it's like a, a swimming long neck with that teeth, you know, and it starts chasing her, you know, he's yelling Icky Icky, you know, calling his name, you know, to help. <laughs> so then, you know, everyone's uh, everyone's happy of us because everyone said they said that they heard that spoke Spike, you know, and it's like oh, you know, everyone was surprised by it. And as they start to as they leave, um, as they start to leave, um, through the leave the mess, they say goodbye to Tickles, you know, you know, and then as they get back to the Great Valley, they give. Um, Grandpa Longneck, the the flowers, and of course, of course, it, it works. You know, he feels a lot better. You know, and then after that, th and after that, the the herd uh, starts uh, begins to leave, and they say goodbye. You know, um, say so they say they say goodbye to Allie, and then um, Bluefoot has like flashes of the uh, some of the uh, the when they, when they first met. You know, and then then the narrator who's been saying throughout the the, the the beginning at the end you know of all the films you know the narrator um, ends with a little with a little um, little foot that will once he will one day meet Ally you know and then ends with a uh, grandpa long like getting, getting back up on his feet you know um, so yeah so so the land before time for journey through the mist another entrance in the series that I that I really do enjoy you know um, Um, there's, there's not much of a special feature, it's just like, like, a little bit's playhouse, you know, which I don't do, I don't go to, you know, but, um, it's on for an hour, and, it's not a long film, on for an hour and 14 minutes, but it goes by very fast, you know, like all of the other films, they go by at a fast pace, you know, I enjoy, I, I enjoy the characters of the villains, Dylan Icky, you know, right there, you can see, I like this, I like the song they both sang, you know, who, who needs you, you know. So yes, yeah, it's another it's another good uh, entrance in the series series you know. So and I enjoy, so I enjoy Lamb for Time Four, Journey Through the Mists. So and then so I'll, and I'll get I'll, and hope hopefully in time I'll get to sequel number five. Um, forget what. Uh, yeah, the 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 mysterious island. Oh, which I'll get which I'll get to soon enough. So, so that's my review for Land Before Time Four: Journey Through the Mists. I do enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Take care. Stay tuned on the next movie review. Later.